Alright guys, Danny here and welcome to a styling video. This is my first styling video in my channel because the rest of my videos are all pomade reviews so this is something different and today I'll be showing you how to comb a vintage side part also known as the executive contour. For this hairstyle I'll be using pomades today but really it's totally up to you what kind of pomades you want to use. For the dry look you can use wax or clay but if you really want to stick to the old school look, like how this meant, hairstyle is meant to be for, then I suggest that you use pomades or hair creams. Like if you live in the United States or in the UK, Brill cream would work great for you. But since I'm in Germany, I like to use Brisk sometimes. Brisk is a perfect alternative to Brill cream, light hold, quite a decent amount of shine, just less shine on your Brill cream. This is a medium shine, not a high shine, but more or less, generally the same idea, you get it. But really, if you want that old school classic look, this hairstyle is actually meant to be a classic one, then it's best to actually use a product with some shine in it, pomades, creams, totally up to you. So I'll start by using a heavy product, because today I'll be using two of these. I need a heavier product for my base product as holding my hair and I'll use a lighter product for that extra shine. So for my base product today, I'll be using Dax Wave & Groom. I made a review of this pomade. You can check it out on my channel. And I'll start by scooping it out, just a tiny amount of it. Just do take a tiny finger dab like this. You really wouldn't want to take too much because if you have my hair type, which is pretty short and Asian, well, right now I have short hair, and if you have Asian hair, using too much of this would actually make your hair spike up. So just use it sparingly. Apply it to the front of your hair and to the sides. Really, the sides and back need to be weighted down for this, so you do need some heavier product to weigh it down. And after that, just rub a tiny amount of it around the rest of your hair, not too much. You can take more if you'd like to, but just take less than the first amount. Now with a heavy product, you really need to rub it between your hands in order to melt it so that it distributes the hair evenly. And here's an extra pro tip. In order to scoop out heavier pomades much easier, you can just heat the tin with a blow dryer or even um, put it inside a bowl of hot water for some time. It'll just make scooping out much easier. And next, you take your comb. It depends on your hair type. Again, well, my particular hair type, I can't use wide tooth combs because a wide tooth comb would just cause it to flop over. Therefore, a narrow tooth comb is very perfect for my fine hair. Just look it all back. And the purpose of slinging it back is to distribute the product evenly around the hair. But you wouldn't want to slick it back too quickly using a heavy product because there's some tug and pull. You might be a little worried to have some strands of hair on your comb, but don't worry, that's perfectly normal if you're combing through a heavy product. And once you have it nice and even, do take your lighter product to give it an extra handsome shine. I'll be using black and white light formula for the extra shine today. Take a finger dab of it. Rub it through. And run it through here. Do note that adding lighter pomades would actually weigh down, I'm sorry, would decrease the hold in your hair. So the more lighter product you put, the less hold you would get. You should really find the perfect proportion, the perfect ratio of heavy to light pomades for you, what works best, the kind of hold you would like, and the amount of shine you're happy enough with. So just apply it by running it through with your fingers backwards like this, and then to the front. And again, just look it all back.
and you're really beginning to see that high shine in there. Now, what I just did, I applied a topper for shine. Most people are actually confused as to how they're supposed to apply toppers. I get all sorts of questions like, should I apply it at the same time as my heavy? Because some people just put a heavy on their palms and put a light pomade at the same time and rub it together and then rub it through the hair at once. Well, personally, I actually rather apply a heavy first, slick it through and distribute it, and then a light pomade and slick it through and distribute it. That works better like that. So you won't decrease your hold a little too much. Just slick it all back and once you have it nice and even, there comes the important part of this hairstyle. Making the part. Now when it comes to finding your part, you should really know where your natural part is because your hair can naturally part at either the left or the right of your head. As for me, my natural part is at the left of my head. And it's totally up to you whether you want to comb it higher or lower. That totally depends on your natural part and also how your hair is cut by your barber. Slick this area through and then get one of these comb lines and put your comb in between one of these comb lines. Like that. So just dig it through, repeat again, just look it back, take one of these comb lines and put your comb in between these comb lines and push the rest of your hair away from that area. For those of you who are new to side parting, this might take a little while for you to practice, it might take a little bit of practice, but really with this method, boom, you get a very nice, clean, straight part over here. I've been parting my hair for about as long as I can remember, therefore it's not really much of a problem for me. Then comb sides backwards, a little bit like this. I'll tell you a little bit later of how your sides should be combed. It really depends on your preference in the end. And now let's just focus on the top for the meantime. Just look it back. And now with this side part, you would really want your hair to be combed to the sides. So just start from the back of the hair. You comb it to the sides like this. Push it all the way to the sides and work your way gradually towards the front, but don't comb the front downwards completely because if you do so, I honestly think it looks ridiculous. Anyway, you wouldn't want to end up looking like Hitler, don't you? So yeah, just uh, comb it to the sides and now let's take care of the front of your hair. I'll show you what to do with it. Um, now this is what gives the contour its name, the front of your hair. So some people like to comb it backwards or diagonally. I personally like to swirl it because my hair has a very slight wave to it. And one thing about the front of your hair in this hairstyle is that the main idea of it is that your hair at the top should be combed to the sides, but the front opposes that motion by going backwards or diagonally or swirly, it's totally up to you. You should find out what works best for your hair. My hair has a very slight wave pattern to it, therefore I comb it this way. My wave pattern goes a little like this. So, I swirl the front, like that. Swirl a little more, pat it down. And then you take this area and slick it back in order to lock it through. And now, let us take care of the sides and back. You might see some flyaways, some couple of hairs standing up. As for me right now, I'm experiencing a week long buildup in pomade, which is why I don't really have that problem. But usually on the first day when you apply pomade, your hair just sticks up a little bit. So I found a secret tool to take care of the problem and boom, here is my military brush with some Boar's hair. Usually, it's usually made of boar's hair, but I got this one for relatively cheap for about six euros, five ninety nine. Actually, it's kind of cheap considering the kind of brush it is. So I don't think it's one hundred percent boar's hair, but 
really. Find a military brush if you can, and if you do find one, do get one. It really helps a lot. It's optional though, it's totally up to you. So just take care of your sides and back with this brush. It really lays it down. Now for your sides, in this hairstyle you can either comb it completely down or backwards, like a little backwards, diagonally if you have short sides like me, just diagonally. It looks a lot more exciting if you comb it diagonally. So just lay the foundation of the hair first by combing it a little backwards. It's kind of downwards but a little backwards like this. And you can take care of it again with a fine tooth comb. Backwards. A little bit backwards, but kind of downwards too. It's just in a diagonal motion. And pat it down. And this is how my sides look now. So that's pretty much all there is to it. You can add some final touches with your military brush or fine tooth comb. Now when you use military brush, that should not be the first step. Usually it goes by comb first and then brush. And sometimes if you like to comb again. I normally like to finish it off with a comb in the end. So, at this point, I should just uh, call it about done. And I'll give you a quick preview of this. Notice how the front of the hair is combed to kind of oppose it a little. And there you go. So this hairstyle, it works really great in many situations. It works great in a business environment, in school, even a casual environment. It gives you that smart and classic look. It's sort of a modern vintage kind of look. Nowadays, it's been popularized by TV shows such as Mad Men and even the hipster subculture and some individuals from the rockabilly scene, such as myself. Now for your sides, if you want a modern twist, you can ask for a fade like me. I have a mid fade, but just don't fade it too high or else your sides will stick up. Ask your barber for a number two to a number four clipper guard and that should be great. Usually this hair still looks a lot cleaner with a taper or a fade. And that shall be it. I hope you learned something from this video. Be sure to like, leave a comment and subscribe and you would if you like my content, you can check the rest of my Pomade Reviews channel. So, till next time.